Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we uh, defeated Team Aqua, and in reward for beating them, we received a Magma Emblem, which uh, is used later on in the game for something. But uh, that's not important right now. Right now, uh, after you beat Team Aqua on Mount Pyre, you're going to have to... Um, head to the magma hideout and the way you have to do that is by um, first of all leaving uh, the the mountain and then just uh, sailing south and going to route 123 which is right down here I think hopefully I'm right if I'm wrong I'm gonna feel like an idiot I think this is 123 yes it is and I don't know, there's some berries, I don't really want them. Let's see what this chick has to say. I love grass Pokemon. Do you have any grass-type Pokemon? Oh, you're grass-type Pokemon. Oh, you like your grass-type Pokemon too, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's okay, I guess. And she's your TM-19, which is Giga Drain, I believe? Yes, no? Uh, what? Why do I keep talking to her? I think it's Giga Drain, let me check. Uh, I guess it is Giga Drain. I'm, a I'm actually going to teach it to, uh... Breloom. And the thing is that I don't like about this move is that it only has five power points. So, um, what I'm thinking about doing is giving it uh, a PP up. Because, um, yeah, because I, I don't want to spend the whole game and only be able to uh, use Giga Drain five times. So that's probably the best grass move that it's going to get the chance to learn. So, I think I have two. Yeah, I do have two. I'll give it... I'll just give it one for now. But later on, if, um... If the, t if the uh, need comes about, I will, uh, I'll give it another one. And, uh, let's see, there's some trainers up here. But, uh, I don't want to do a double battle, so I'm just gonna... Um, battle them one at a time. And, uh, in the last video... Uh, someone reminded me that um, Shadow Ball is actually a physical move in this game. I completely forgot about that. I rem like I know in, uh, the, in the DS games they've always been special moves, but uh, in this game and in like pretty much all the Game Boy games, pretty much everything that's not the DS game, it was a uh, special, a physical move, and that kind of sucks because. It's on my best special attacker, which I didn't really realize that it was physical, so I just kind of taught it to it. And as you see, I used Shadow Ball on Duskull, and it did, like, nothing, just because of... Um, uh, I don't get... It won't do that much damage, just because it's not a special move. But the thing is, none of my Pokemon can learn it, except Gardevoir. So, what I'm probably going to do is just keep it on there for now, and see what comes up later. Because right now, you know, it's just like, there's nothing I can really do, because like, unless I get the Shadow Claw TM later, which I don't know if you can get in this game or not, but I'll look it up later. I'll teach it to my Larion, and that'll be my Ghost-type move, but I really do need a Ghost-type move, and hopefully I can get one on a Pokemon that actually benefits from it. Because it's just like, it, it won't do much damage on a Special Attacker, because the stupid way they designed it, because think about it, how is Shadow Ball a fucking physical move? I mean, it's like, um, it gets a shadow and throws it at you, that's not physical at all, but, you know, whatever. And, why does this Zangus have purple claws? I don't remember it having purple claws, I remember them being just plain white. But, you know, whatever, that's kind of weird, but I'll get over it. And you would survive with, like, one fucking hit point. I'll go ahead and take you out, and then, uh... I think you only have one Pokemon, I could be wrong. Uh, I was really paying attention. Oh, it's a Viper. I'll go ahead and stay in and destroy this thing with Psychic. And, um... Yeah, this should take it out in one hit, as it is super effective. And a critical hit, that just... is icing on top of the cake. And I'm really hoping that uh, Swablu can level up some on this route, because I really want it to evolve so I can get rid of the EXP share and give it to Larion again. 
Some more berries, I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, there's an item, what is this? An elixir. I don't really care about that. It doesn't make much of a difference for me right now, because I'm not going to need it until maybe the Elite Four, but even then, probably won't even need it. And there's a few more trainers down here. Um, I need to train Torkoal up. It's level 29. That's my lowest Pokemon, so I'm going to go ahead and train it on this girl. Do you want to determine how strong you are? I'll be the test. Uh, no. I'm not going to test my strength on a fucking cool trainer. Who, who the hell do you think you are? You're not cool enough to test my strength. The only push person in the in this world that can test my strength is like the fucking champion of the Elite Four, and even him, he doesn't stand a chance against me. You know, and that's what's just like really weird. Like, how am, how am I, like a fucking ten-year-old kid, the best fucking Pokemon trainer in the whole world? It doesn't make any sense. I probably said this before, but I don't know. It just it irritates me. Stuff like this pisses me off because it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And, uh, stupidity can be a very annoying thing. It's just something that kind of pisses me off when things don't make any fucking sense. But, I don't know, that's really not important at all. And what is important is that this fucking Pelipper is using Protect. Come on, why are you just fucking stalling? That's all you're doing. I use Protect again, come on. Oh, you are a sad, sad Pokemon. If you are hiding behind a wall of... I don't know what that is. Like, it's just a wall of... a barrier of invisible magic. I don't know. It's Pokemon. Let's do some crazy stuff. But... I think she had one more Pokemon. Uh, yeah, Roselia. And I'll send out Fuji for that. And I really need to get Flamethrower for this guy, because, honestly, Ember isn't doing it, and I can't use uh, Overheat over and over again. It only has five power points. Oh, Leech Seed. Yeah, that other chick's like, do you like Grass Pokemon? Like, no, this is why I, this is why I fucking hate Grass Pokemon. They use Leech Seed, and then they use, like, Giga Drain, and then all of a sudden you could be, like, one hit point away from killing it, and you could have full health, and then all of a sudden it just completely reverses. It'll paralyze you, and then uh, leech you, and then Giga Drain you, and then all that other stuff. And then it's just really annoying. That's why I do not like Grass Pokemon. I actually don't like gra very many Grass Pokemon at all. The only ones I like are like Starters and maybe Rose Raid. Other than that, I'm not a huge fan of any of the Grass Pokemon. And I don't know why I double battled these guys. I didn't really want to. I wasn't really thinking. But it's not a big deal. I'll kill him just quickly. Just the same. And even though those guys' sprites look exactly the same, one's a uh, bird keeper and one's a uh, guitarist, I think. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But, um, yeah, like, why do they have the exact same sprite? Do you, are you not creative enough to make different, uh, trainers have different sprites? It's not that goddamn hard. But, you know, I guess, uh, these guys are just lazy. Not, not all, only are they lazy to uh, make sprites for Pokemon, they're also too raise, lazy to write a decent storyline. Because we all know how uh, exciting and riveting a Pokemon game storyline is. You, uh, it's pretty much the same. You go to every gym, you beat them, you beat Team Aqua, and, well, you, you beat the teams, uh a couple times along the way, and then you battle the Elite Four and you win. I mean, how goddamn complicated is that? And, you know, I was I was bored the other day, so I was watching uh, the, uh, the the new uh, Pokemon anime in English. I, I just was bored as shit, so, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's kind of weird. Fucking, like, Pikachu, who... You know, by this point in in the game, or in the show, should be, like, I don't know, level 90 at, at least, if not level 100. Battles a level 5 Snivy and fucking loses. Now that right there is a fucking plot twist, but, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. How do you lose to a level 5 Snivy? Because, you know, it was just like the, the uh, first... Uh, 
the one of the new trainers got a Snivy, and Ash is like, "Hey, let my Pikachu battle it." He's like, "Whatever, I'm gonna kick your ass." And what turns out, and that turns out to be right. It's just like, holy shit, how do you lose to a level five Snivy? It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> but you know, it's just the way that the writers write this uh, write the show, and it pisses me off because it doesn't make any sense. And a revival of herb. I don't want that anyway. Oh shit, another double battle. I didn't see that guy's bald head down there. God damn it. I hate double battles. But uh, that last one didn't go too bad, so hopefully I can. Uh, this one will go just as well. And Kadabra and Makuhita. Uh, let's see what I can do with these guys. Um, I'll go ahead and. Use Overheat, I guess. And Shadow Ball will take out the Kadabra, just because its defenses are so bad. But of course, it will use Fake Out so I can't attack. You know, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's, it's a fucking Pokemon game. And uh, this should kill it, because it's fucking Overheat. Oh yeah, of course it doesn't kill it. Come on, man. Using a 140 power move and you can't kill a level 30 Makuhita, really? Come on, you gotta step up your game. And wow, this double battle's not going going too well right now. I'm almost dead, and I couldn't kill a Makuhita with Overheat. Come on. Um, yeah, level 30, finally. Flamethrower, finally. Yes, I'm so happy. Uh, let's see what to get rid of. I'll get rid of Ember. Ember's a pointless move anyway, especially at this point in the game. And Flamethrower is more than twice as strong as Ember, which is nice, and I don't have to rely on Overheat to kill every Pokémon, which is nice. And, uh, that's not good. A level... I mean, not a level, a, uh, a Lunatone. And I have a Fire-type out, so I'm gonna need to, uh, switch. This is probably gonna kill me, isn't it? I... I uh, actually didn't, okay. Um, just because Gardevoir's defenses aren't that good, I was thinking that, but, you know, either way. Uh, let's see what happens now. Oh god, I'm dead. And a critical hit on top of that, come on. Uh, this is definitely not going over well right now. Um, but after, after this uh, trainer, I think there's only like one more trainer and then we can go ahead and head to the Jagged Pass, where, where that's where the uh, the next part of the story is. And Surf will take it out for sure. I, I hope Surf doesn't attack my own Pokemon, I don't remember if it does or not. But if it does, I'm fucked, because it's not definitely not going to survive a Surf to the face. And I think he had one more Pokemon. Yeah, he did. What is it? I'm a choke, alright, that'll be easy enough to take out, as long as I don't die. Or get put to sleep, come on. Yeah, I definitely should have battled these guys individually. This is getting to be a pain. And you don't even die from a super effective move, come on. Come on, Carnivore, just fucking wake up. I don't, uh, there's no time for you to be asleep, we're in the middle, middle of a battle, come on. Uh, this will kill the Lunatone, but Machoke will still be alive, so... Hopefully, my uh, Gardevoir will wake up so I can kill it. And Pandora grew to level 32, which is nice. And Seismic Toss, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure. Yep. That's great. Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and send out Swablu just to get some extra experience. Because it does evolve in three more levels, which is going to be great. Because it completely sucks right now. But once it evolves, it's actually a pretty damn good Pokemon. Well, actually, I, I wouldn't say, like, it's not that good. Like, for a dragon Pokemon, it's not that good. Most of the dragon types are, like, really fucking good. Alteria is a decent dragon, but uh, uh, that's about it, honestly. Um, and now my Gardevoir is dead. That's not good. And, um, hopefully this will take it out, but if not, Fly will. And there we go. That battle took a while, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, yeah, level 33, two more levels. Almost there, guys. Almost into an Altaria, and then I just have to worry about one more Pokemon evolving. And then we can stop worrying about this EXP share bullshit and just battle. God, I don't want your fucking number, you old pedophile. And another PP up, that'll be nice, in case I need to give it to a... Uh, something like Overheat or maybe Mega Drain. Man, I missed an item. I think that's an Ultra Ball, I could be wrong. Uh, where am I? Haven't I been here? Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, I actually have been here. Um... Oh yeah, uh, let me check something. For this next part, you're gonna need an Acro Bike. Uh, let me make sure I have... I don't remember which bike I have. I have a Mach Bike. So, I'm gonna head over to Mauville. Because in Mauville City, uh, we can switch out our bike from a Mach Bike to an Acro Bike. And the Mach Bike is what I'm using now. It just goes fast. It's really all it can do. But the Acro Bike, it actually uh, helps you in certain places to, like, make certain jumps. Uh, you can, like, jump off of, um, off of ledges and stuff. For the most part, it doesn't really matter, but in certain parts of the game, this being one of them, you're gonna need one of the two bikes. So, <clears throat> at this point in the game, go ahead and get the, uh, Acro Bike. And, uh, until next time, I'll, um, well, yeah, next time we'll go ahead and head out to the Jagged Pass, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.